वेलकम टू कोड इफेक्टिवली द टॉपिक इज टू फाइंड वेदर द गिवन नंबर इज एम अप नंबर और नॉट दिस इज अम्पॉर्टेंट प्रोग्राम फ्रॉम बोर्ड पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू एंड इट इज ऑलवेज आर्स इन आई सी एस इन आई एस सी बोर्ड फॉर क्लासेज नाइन टू ट्वेल्थ सो वॉच दिस वीडियो टिल दी एंड सो लेट स्टार्ट विद द वीडियो वॉट इज एन एम अप नंबर फर्स्ट वी हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड हाउ टू फाइंड वेदर द गिवन नंबर इज एम अप नंबर और नॉट एंड इन एम अप नंबर इज अ दैट नंबर विच इज अ प्राइम नंबर ओके अ प्राइम नंबर it is a prime number and whenever we re reverse that number the reverse of that number okay this is a prime number and we have reversed that number if the reverse of that number is also a prime number then we say that the given number is a m up number the example we can say let's it be 13 okay 13 we know is a prime number when we reverse 13 it comes out to be 31 and 31 also is a prime number so we can say that the given number 13 is an m up number okay and vice versa we can say that if 31 is a prime number and we get the reverse of 31 that is 13 so 13 is also a prime number so we can say ki 31 or is a m up number okay or another example we can take is 71 71 we know 71 is a prime number and if we reverse 71 it comes out to be 17 as we know 17 is also a prime number so we can say 71 is a m up number so in short we can say that a prime number when we reverse a prime number if the reverse of that number also comes out to be a prime number then the number we took originally is known as the m up okay this is our main methodology now how to write the source code for it we can divide a source code into two methods what into two methods the first method could be just to find the reverse okay first method we can draw is to find the reverse of the number of the number and second is to check is to check that whether the reverse whether that the reverse of the number reverse of the number is prime or not is prime or not okay this is known as the m up or we have to check both whether the entered number is also prime as well as the reverse of that number is also prime or not because we have if for let's say we input the number um let's say 8 so we cannot set as an m up number because for a number to be an m up number it has to be prime and when we reverse the prime number then it should be an m up number then its reverse also should be a prime number since we can say original number as well as the reverse of that number both should be prime so we have to check at the initial stage also that the original number that the user is inputting is whether a prime number or not so these are the two main steps to check the prime number and the to get the reverse of the number and again check that the reverse of the number is a prime number or not okay the main condition for the prime number is the main condition for prime number we check is let's say the int i is equal to 1 and i less than less than the number itself i or let's less than equals to the number itself okay so we know for the prime number the number is only divisible by 1 and the number itself it has only two divisors that is 1 and number itself let's say 7 is a prime number so 7 has two factors only 1 and 7 itself that's why it's a prime number so here we will check if n modulus i equal equal 0 then we can say what that we will give the counter plus plus okay this will continue till n and after that if c equal equal to if the counter is 2 then it is a prime number because it will have two factors only that is 1 and the number itself else it is not a prime number no prime okay this is the main methodology for prime number you can check the entire video i will have given the description of the video in the description box of this link on how to check the prime number and a full video has been displayed with the dry run that's the quick methodology i am providing you here for this m up number okay if you want to see the prime number video full prime number video with a dry run go and click on click on the link given in the description box of this video okay so now this is my entire id i have written all it the program about m up number so let's just have a dry run and just quickly see what the number is all about it is very easy see in this public static void main i have created an object of m up because see i am just using two methods first is in check it will return i am just writing out the comments out for you it will check for prime number prime number or count the number of factors count the number of factors okay how it will run just check it out it c is initially zero we will run the for loop from 1 to 
n to till n okay and here we will check if the number modulus by i and if the count we will increase the count whenever we increase the count we will keep this running till the number is i is equal to the number itself after that we will check if c is equal equal to that means we are having a prime number so we will return one so return one will signify that the given number is a prime number if it is not a prime number we will return zero simple after this we will check the reverse in this we have created another method that is reverse in this i will be just making out the reverse conditions checking for the reverse while rev is equal to while n is not equal zero we have taken rev initially zero and here we are storing the reverse of the number what we are showing we are showing reverse of the number okay here is my reverse of the number we will just check the reverse and return the reverse whatever we get the reverse so how the program will start here after creating the object i will pass i will have just taken initially in int n is equal to 71 let's take it 71 and we know the reverse of the number 71 will be 17 which will be a mop number so first we will check whether the users that the number user have initially entered is itself a prime number or not that the first original number is a prime number or not so it will go and call the check because op dot check it will call the check function here in the check function it will check the counters okay here the c will be two because we know that 71 has only two factor that is one and 71 itself so it will c will be two here and it will return one after it will return one it will check one is equal equal one condition is true so it will come inside and here we have created int num is equal to op dot reverse of n so n is 71 so it will go and get the reverse of n so reverse of 71 will be returning rev will be returning 17 after 17 will be returned it will store in num again in num we will just check we will again call the check function op dot check with num here the num will be storing i will write it out num will be storing what num will be storing 17 because the reverse of the number because we are storing here reverse of the number so it will check again it will check what 17 for 17 ki whether 17 is a prime number or not here we know 17 is a prime number it will have only two factors that is 1 and 17 itself so it will see will be here again 2 and it will return 1 after returning 1 it will check 1 equal equal 1 yes 1 is equal equal 1 so it will print yes okay so if the 1 would not be equal to 1 else that means the reverse of the number is not equal to prime number so we will print out no or this is my second else that it will be checking for the first number that the user's number that is the original number is also only not itself the prime number so it will say no so let's run and see whether it is running or not so it is printing yes because we know that 17 is a prime number and 71 is a prime number so yes it is an mop number hope you like this video if you like this video kindly go and press the bell icon and subscribe to the channel